Now, I've slept in lots of cars. The first car I slept in was my first car, which was a Renault 25. The first time I slept in it, uh, we took a trip to uh, Devon uh, from uh, London, and so there was three, three of us in the back. Uh, it was my former girlfriend who got the worst of it because she had to sleep in the middle, her sister on one side and me on the other. That night I learnt the first thing uh, about sleeping in cars, which was that the, uh, to be very comfortable. Uh, that, the problem there was this metal bit somewhere down the middle which was most uncomfortable. From there, all the cars I owned, I ended up sleeping in them somewhere. Uh, the uh, next one was a Peugeot 309, then I had uh, Citroen, um, another Citroen, BMW and then Mercedes. As time progressed I had more and more equipment so um, I had a, a little pump thing for water so I could wash myself. I had this uh, jar, rather large jar, uh, for uh, as, as, as a toilet. You know, it's not the same as uh, being in a camper van or a motorhome. Uh, so now I have super luxury. Um, there's a French company which has uh, devised a way for those who don't have the resources or possibility of owning a camper van uh, who have come up with a way of sleeping in cars which uh, um, we're now going to uh, demonstrate and uh, the, their idea being is you might, you might be sleeping in a car but that's not a reason to be uncomfortable and that's just what I think no matter what you do you need to be comfortable. I'm now going to show you this system which uh, it's a company called Yatu from France and it works in over 200 vehicles. Actually set the bed up like this, it takes around 15 minutes to actually get it to, to uh, this stage. You do that uh, before you left home or you might even want to leave it permanently in your vehicle if you're the sort of person who often actually sleeps in it. And that way turning your car into a camper automatically. Now, so you've arrived at where you want to arrive. First of all, you've got to put the, uh, the seats down. Next thing is to get the, uh, the bed out. So the bed's already there. And now it's got these slats which will uh, improve uh, sleeping uh, comfort enormously. Um, we've got some, these metal parts which attach to the side of the vehicle. and then more slats come out so you've got uh, lengthwise and widthwise as can be seen this can be done by one person might be even quicker if there's two doing it There you go, the slats come out, same slats as you've got under your bed at home or in your camper van. So the slats are, uh, they're, they're curved slightly um, as they are on the bed, uh, which is apparently good for uh, comfort. There you go, you've got that in place. Then comes on the mattress. Now the mattresses have to be blown up. You can get these electrical things. Uh, you stick it in the 12 volt uh, supply and it blows it up for you. So putting the mattresses in now. Now the mattresses have been uh, blown up, but they're self-inflatable. You can uh, put the, uh, these, these covers up. Uh, the thermal things, you may have seen them in films of mine from my motorhome. Um, they uh, keep the, the vehicle relatively uh, warm. Uh, obviously, a vehicle does not have insulation, so you, you'd have to bear that one in, in mind. It's not like a camp, a van or a motorhome, which does have insulation. So leave a window slightly open if, if you haven't got the tent attached to it or something like that for um, 
uh, vent ventilation, otherwise the, it, it gets steam, it's steamed up. That doesn't happen in a camper van, oh, sorry, it doesn't happen in a motorhome anyway, uh, because of the amount of air that's already in. But for, even if one person's in, you must leave a window slightly open, but it's not enough to uh, let, 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 let the cold in. Now, let's see uh, how this actually goes on. As you can see, they attach uh, very quickly, and that's via suction pads. And you can do that for all the windows right the way around the car. There's also for the windscreen as well. And we've got the works. So there you are, it's a motorhome. Now, there you go, there's the tent. You've got, you can see quite here, quite easily here, uh, the bit that goes onto the car. Now obviously that stands up by itself, but um, come a bit of wind, uh, you would, you'll need a bit of support. So therefore, that's the point of the poles. Now here we're in a, we're indoors, we're in uh, one of the halls of the Messel, Messe Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf uh, Trade Fair. So it would be uh, much easier to actually put this into softer ground because we can't put it into uh, the tiles on the ground here to hold it permanently. Right, so the poles are now holding it in. And you can attach that to the rear of your car or whatever, but it certainly goes up very, very quickly. And here is one we did earlier in true television style. Got the tent on the back of the vehicle. We've got a door there, so you can nip in, should you so desire, in this way. Of course, you're out camping, you probably wouldn't bring yourself a computer and a printer, but you might have some other stuff you wanted to put in there. And there you have the car. You will probably need a toilet, well, you can get one of the uh, nice ones, or you can, in fact, just use a jar, as I did for many years. You can get um, a little uh, some water canister with a little pump or something like that. Very easy to do. Oh, you can even sleep in there if you really wanted to. I mean, it's, it, it's up to you. So you've got an inner tent there, so that will uh, protect you from the elements. You'd avoid things like condensation and the likes. Now, this is 170 by 170. However, it can be expanded to two meters. Now, what you can do with this system, if you want, is that you can uh, drive your car away and leave the tent up. So that, that's, that's one solution. Uh, if you, if you're on a campsite or something like that. Alternatively, uh, you can pack the tent up with you and then you can drive off somewhere else. Now, what we're showing here is uh, how easy it is to actually uh, put the tent back away again and how quickly it takes place. Now, uh, this system will work with all the state cars. It works with uh, very many cars up to 2 meters 10 in height. It doesn't also have to have a back which opens upwards. You could have like side doors or something like that. It will work with that as well. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't yet work with vans. The reason for this is because the, uh, the height of the van is going to be higher than the height of the tent, and so therefore the water would uh, actually be running onto the tent, which is uh, not yet the, uh, uh, a, good a good idea in, with this type of system. Of course, the tent's perfectly uh, it's waterproof, but um, you wouldn't want the stream of water running onto it. Now, the, uh, as you can see, the tent has been uh, it's been packed, uh, well it's not been packed, it's been uh, folded up and uh, and it folds up into a neat ball which can be put into the back of the car.
Uh, there's a bag for this, so it all goes in that bag. Uh, incidentally, if you want to see learn more of this, please see my website, motorhomefulltime.com. There's also a kitchen that goes with this. You've got the uh, uh, camping gas uh, uh, on the back with a little cupboard below. So you want to keep some food in there or what have you. So you got the, the gas canister is is there. You've got water there and um, a bowl under it. You have the as a collapsible uh, tank which you can get up to 20 liters in and even there's a place for the wastewater. So if you want, you can have your uh, kitchen in the field somewhere. It's obviously it's nice to uh, have a place to uh, to cook out in the open. On the other hand, it does fit neatly into the back of your vehicle like this. Now, you're probably wondering about the wastewater, because I'll show you the sink. Well, this is very clever, because there's two bags in there. What happens is that as your fresh water defl uh, is used, it the bag deflates, and the wastewater bag actually inflates. So you know, you've got a complete motorhome, or, well, let's say camping car, a camper, uh, with this system. Now it's morning and we've got to take the thing uh, apart, drive off somewhere else. So out come the mattresses first. quick it is to actually 
put the bed away.